Hey, it's Mike, the HVAC Reefer Guy. I'm here on a rooftop in Phoenix, Arizona. We're using the new Choice Refrigerant 421A. Uh, we had a leak right here at this access tee. It was cut out, we brazed it out. We went ahead and changed the dryer. Upon arrival, the system was flat. Uh, no recovery, so we were good there. Um, we've gone ahead and pulled a deep vacuum with our JB Platinum vacuum pump. The pumps that we use. Uh, pulled it to a vacuum, pulled it to a micron uh, vacuum of 500 microns. It held at 500 microns, so we're good to go there. This carrier package unit takes eight pounds. We're gonna put in far 421A as a liquid. The bottle is inverted. We have Adrian. How you doing? Kyle. Hey. And we're gonna be good to go. So go ahead and charge it up as a liquid. Make sure when you're charging by scale that you have your uh, your meter with you or your scale. You can see here that it's counting down. We're gonna get to eight pounds. Go ahead and hold that. We're gonna get to eight pounds and then we're gonna go ahead and start it up. We're gonna put this panel back on, obviously. Um, we have the box in there. So you can see that we're using 421A. When you do use a 421A, make sure that uh, you change the unit nameplate. You scratch off the R22. You mark on the unit nameplate, this unit charged with R421A, so the tech behind you uh, knows what gas that you've used. How are we doing on the charge? Uh, about two and a half pounds. About two and a half pounds. I like to bleed into the uh, to the liquid side, the high pressure side. A lot of guys will dump on both sides. If it's got an accumulator, I'll sometimes go on the accumulator. Um, you know, they do make those little charging checks that allow you to charge as a liquid through the suction side, and it bleeds it through as a vapor. Um, back in the day, old school. We would go two PSI over suction, knowing that by the time your hoses or the gas got into the suction side, uh, it was gonna be vapor, so you wouldn't have a problem with flood back. So, as he's checking the scale, what are we at now? Four. We're at four. I brought up the Choice Refrigerant's uh, pressure temperature scale, so we can use it as a comparison. Uh, the other day, Bill Dozer, uh, hey Bill, how you doing bud? He used the uh, 421A, had a huge success on a compressor changeout. Uh, we spoke about it. He had some really good results. Sorry about that, tripping on my own feet. Had some really good results. You wanna be careful. That's what happens. That's what happens when you're not paying attention and you're an old guy. That's what Kyle tells me. So um, Bill said that uh, uh, he had great success in California and um, everything ran great. He had a uh, good temperature difference. Pressures were a little lower than normal than an R22, but uh, according to our PT chart, we're expecting that. How are we doing now? Uh, about six. Six. So let's go ahead and pull that box. Let's get that panel put on. Kyle's getting the panel put on. We're gonna put one, probably a screw in the middle so it doesn't come off. Using our DeWalt screw gun. It's not the tool of choice, but we like it. I like the DeWalt. I've had no problems with it over the years. Where are we at now? Uh, six and a half. Six and a half. So we're almost there, about a pound and a half shy. We always like to walk the units, make sure that everything is good. Drains are clear, drains are flush. We're gonna put the control panel, here's the control panel. Everything looks good. We got some wiring that uh, we're gonna quote out to the customer. They use the ground wire as a hot lead, not cool. So we'll quote that out for them to take care of it. You wanna walk, usually I'll walk all the rooftops. I'll look at all the units. I'm gonna look at this unit over here. Here's the disconnect lane on the ground. We're gonna quote that out. The unit looks pretty good. Some exposed duct. We're gonna quote out some duct sealing. We have a lot of rain here in the summertime, 
So we're gonna wanna get these flashings sealed before we get some heavy duty rains. Like to check the P-traps. All of this is what you guys need to do when you're in the field so that you keep yourself busy. You're selling, you're taking care of the client, and you're taking care of your company. Enjoying some views. That out there is downtown Phoenix. You can see the skyscrapers out there. It's a beautiful day today in February. It's about 80 degrees, 82 degrees. It's going to be a good day to start up this unit and test this uh, 421A. Are we ready? Yeah. Are we locked at eight pounds? So we're just under eight. We're going to go ahead and start it uh, and see how it does. And we'll finish the charge as she's running. We'll go ahead and pull it through the suction side, but we'll bleed it through real slow so that uh, we don't get any liquid flood back. So as the compressor is running, you can see here on our pressures, we're watching our pressures a little bit. They're a little lower than, uh, than normal. You know, R22, but they're gonna come up. We'll let them balance out. As they start to balance out, they'll go ahead and feed a little bit more of the uh, 421A. We're at uh, about 7.2, so we need to start bleeding a little bit feeding a little bit of gas into it. How can we get this guy to sit? Like right here? Or at least we can watch it. No, no. We figured I'm out. We're trying to get it so we can watch this guy. There you go. I like to watch it and keep an eye on it. We got some nice heat coming off top of the condenser. Everything's feeling pretty good. So far, so good. At some point, we'll go ahead and check superheats. We'll compare our superheat readings with the R22. Um, we'll make sure the superheat is good. We'll make sure there's no flood back coming back on this unit. And we'll dial in the charge. And we'll make sure that our temperature splits are good. And uh, we'll record everything and we'll continue to monitor. How are we doing on amp draw? You have amp draw on the compressor? What are we at on amp draw? 8.5. .5. So right now on an 85 degree ambient, uh, the run load amp is 15.4. The compressor is running at what? 8.4. 8.4, not a bad number. I'll always like to be under the RLA. Some people say run load amps, rated load amps. I use it as a guideline if I'm under that, I'm good. That's for Tiny, big thumbs up. How are we doing? Pressures are a little low. Yep. So Bill Dozer had explained to me that on a normal charge, we're gonna be right at, um, that we're gonna be about two to three PSI under what would normally be the charge for R22. According to the scales, we're just about, aren't we? We're just about three to four PSI under what would normally be for R22. Everything's looking pretty good. We're gonna keep an eye on it. So basically that's it. Superheat, make sure you, you weigh in your charge by the pound exactly how it's rated. Pull a good deep vacuum, double evacuate, triple evacuate. I'm doing my best to stay away from this roof cap. Um, double evacuate, triple evacuate if needed. Change the dryer, weigh in your charge. Check your rated load amps or run load amp on your compressor. How are we doing? What are we at, number-wise? 10, 10 so right now we're at 10 amps on a RLA of 15. We are fully charged to the unit. We're gonna start taking temperature readings. And we're gonna see what our delta T is. Right now we're continuing. Looks like we're continuing slowly on a 21 degree, 20 degree, 21 degree Delta T.
kind of rocking back and forth looking at the splits so right now we're running about a 72 72 5 return and a 52 5 supply 52 degrees is not bad um, 20 degree delta T I'm pretty happy with that our RLA is way under. You can see us checking temperatures. <clears throat> RLA is way under. Here's our pressures. Right now, we looks like we're running about 215 over 50. Because it's a new gas, we're not sure if that's normal. So we're going to check our PT chart. We are just at eight pounds. The guys are continuing to monitor. So it looks like for the most part, the 421A is gonna be a great gas. It's a great drop in. We use the old compressor. We use the mineral oil. We didn't do an R11 flush. We didn't do anything but fix the leak and put in the 421A. If you guys have any questions, we urge you to go to choicerefrigerants.com. Look at their website. Look them up on the internet. Uh, so far, so good on this uh, com this leak repair, um, and we're still floating about a 20 degree delta T. Everything is looking good, amps are looking good, and we're going to stay here and monitor for a little bit. Again, this is Mike, the HVAC reefer guy. Kyle, Adrian, saying good day. Guys, work safe. We'll see you next time.